So welcome back. Today we are going to find out a solution for a particular problem. To find out the level difference between two stations. Just two stations. Station X and station Y. We have to find out the level difference between X and Y. But there is one extra condition. The distance between x and y is a particularly large amount of distance, maybe 100, 200 meters. But you cannot place an intermediate site or a dumpy level in between x and y. X and y. This may be a river or this may be a valley. Okay, it can be anything, but you cannot place a dumpy level or a leveling stuff in this portion the distance between x and y okay. so the aim is to find out the level difference between x and y stations okay so we have, what we are going to do is first we will be placing dumpy level in near to x we will be placing dumpy level at near to x Level stuff will be held at X. Level leveling stuff will be held at Y. Then we will take readings. Okay. And the reading level line will be something like this. Okay, this is level line. But We assume that this drawn line here will be a level line, but in actual case, this line will not be a level line. The level line will be somewhat like this. Okay. This will be level line. Okay. Your actual line will be this will be your actual line of sight this straight side okay. this error of line of sight will be because of two reasons one curvature of the curvature of air okay if as you all know there is a curvature for air and as this distance increases there will be a curved part or level line will be a curved line and horizontal line will be a straight line so there will be an error due to curvature of air and there is one more error due to atmosphere atmospheric agents it may be because of refraction or temperature loss okay. so due to these errors the actual line of sight will be very with the respective level line for a particular amount okay so how will you correct this how can you find out the actual level difference between x and y to get the actual level difference between x and y we will be adopting and that is the topic of today the topic is reciprocal level reciprocal level and as the name indicates, we will reciprocate this same scenario after measuring this. We will reciprocate the same scenario here. We will take this dumpy level, place here near to y and take reading again. Okay. So for this we will be allowed to reciprocal leveling if we cannot place a dumpy level or instrument or a staff between these two stations any two stations where we have to find out the level difference and 
where we suspect these two errors curvature of earth and atmospheric errors okay and reciprocal leveling is a method of conducting reciprocating two level kinds of levels in two positions near to these two available stations okay so first we will be measuring uh, this side reading we will be taking this side reading and it will be recorded as x1 x1 and we will be citing this reading and we will take it as y1 okay so according to first instrument setup level difference is level difference my between x and y stations is x1 minus y1 okay first one then we will take dummy level in here and again we will level it and find out next two values and obviously there will be some kind of error but we are going to find out the correction okay that's our right. and in second instrument setup you will have x2 x2 is the level value we got from second instrument setup at x when you are looking from this instrument towards here x2 and next one y2 that is reading at here okay and according to second instrument setup level difference will be x2 minus y2 okay level difference i hope you understand then how can you calculate the accurate reading accurate level difference between x and y we have an equation for that level difference between x and y is equal to level difference according to first instrument setup that is x1 minus y1 plus level difference according to second instrument setup that is x2 minus y2 divided by 2 that is we are just taking average of these two level differences first instrument level difference and second instrument setup level difference average of these two level differences the first first instrument setup level difference plus second instrument setup level difference divided by 2 that will give you actual level difference between x and y and there is one more equation total error and that is we will change this side plus side to minus that's it that's just the equation that is x1 minus y1 minus x2 minus y2 divided by 2 ok so that is the only thing you need only things you need, need to know about reciprocal value it is adopted when there is a inaccessible area between two stations and where we suspect curvature error error curvature of earth error and atmospheric agents error and for finding out level difference between x and y we will be adopting this equation x1 minus y1 plus x2 minus y2 divided by 2 average of level differences total error this equation ok so that is reciprocal level ok So profile leveling is when you have a land area like this you have to find out the level difference between all these points in order to construct a road maybe 
we are planning a road construction along this line this is a hill okay so we need to take all the values regarding this profile of hill so we will be taking gradients very closer to these areas like this leveling stuff or stations and we will be taking readings one in here then in here ok etc ok so the data we get from this readings from a profile of a singular line that we call it called as profile level ok this is typically done for construction of roads, canals, etc. Roads, canals, in the middle of the main IT you see. Okay, we have a single line, we have a plan, this is the plan. We have a single line, we have a mesh line, we have a mesh line. Okay, so that is profile level. The market tables are not the same, the same table, same field book, back side, fore side, intermediate side same type of calculations but we take we'll be taking values in this map closer intervals more number of values along a single line like a road like a railway okay that is profile level Cross section leveling is when you take a road like this, if in plan it is a road, this is the road line, and we will be taking the levels along this profile, okay, also the cross sections of all the profile. That is cross section level. In addition to profile level, profile level he was taking the readings along the line only. Cross section leveling is adding with that profile level, we will be adding cross sectional values also. We will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 values, maybe more than 5 values, maybe less than 5. Okay. On each cross sections we will be taking values ok so that is cross sectional level it is mainly adopted for major road purposes NH, SH, national highway road purpose etc we adopt cross sectional level okay. in this also we the field book is the same uh, whatever calculations we have done in cal, uh, HI uh, reduced level calculations they are all just the same but the method we take where we take the levels only differ okay thank you